And that one's good. Cousins has got the lead up to 11 now for Sacramento. Tell you what, since the end of the first quarter, he has really come alive. There was a time when the Kings were one of the powerhouses out of the West, but they've been stuck at the bottom for almost a decade now. Well, in the Western Conference, Kevin, it's hard to get out of the doldrums. The Kings just haven't quite been able to match up with the top teams out that way. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Kings. With the aggression they're showing early on, I mean, they're driving it to the hoop with authority and force. And I think another key will be, can they continue to knock down that mid-range shot? They've been very good here early. The Lakers making a switch here. Kelly's checked in. Williams, he's checked in for Sacramento. Well, you can count on him, can't you? He seems to knock down free throws consistently all game long. Cousins with a screen on Lynn. Lynn against Collison. Williams kicks to Cousins. Here's Gay. No good. And the Lakers take it the other way. Seemingly, though, the, the Kings did find some pieces to build around this last season, even as they ended third to last in the conference. Lynn. And the layup's good off the glass. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Collison, the pass to Gay. High post try. The rebound by Sacre. Been a poor shooting performance for him today, but luckily for them, a lot of his teammates have come through. Bryant has the open look. And a miss there on the triple. You know, for the Kings, finding out what you have really is the first step in turning around your fortunes, being able to look at what you've got and what you need to add. And the Kings definitely have some players to build around, but as with any team that's rebuilding, it's going to take a lot of work to get back to being a factor in the powerful Western Conference. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk, Clark, coming within seconds of the steal. You love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. Yeah, they, they look good, man. At 1080p, we're going to make it out, too. That free throw good from McLemore. Lakers trail by 10. They set the pick. Lynn dishes to Bryant. Back to Lynn. Four seconds left. He takes it up and lays it in. Lynn's got his second basket. Lynn with the steal. Yo, <laughs> that nigga pushed me, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes the first half. Your Kings shit. lead by a yeah, they call that live shit. They from the Staples Center. You're watching 2K Sports. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to find out how to play. You got to attack it. Man, it's hit, take Mind open shots. Half, Can't be in just a moment. Time to hit over people. Shit. Excellent game shot. we've seen from Demarcus Cousins. Attack, attack. He has nine rebounds yeah. and a couple of nice steals too. The motor on this guy is amazing. Completely revved up. He's been everywhere today. He sure has, Clark. Both ends of the floor. I mean, his offense has been great, but defensively, he's brought huge energy, too. Kings leading now by eight. On the floor for Sacramento. Up front, it's Thompson and Cousins. Ben McLemore is out there with Collison. And it's Gay in at the three spot. The drive by Collison. Thompson misses. Great work getting in the shooter's face and then getting back to the boards to grab the rebound. Here's Lynn. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. <laughs> Who could forget 
Jeremy Lin's dynamic and dramatic emergence with the Knicks back in early 2012. He went from an end-of-the-bench type player struggling just to stay Clark in the league to a national storyline in a matter of weeks. Yeah, it was insanity it was. for sure. <laughs> I mean, and his play has settled to where he's a quality rotation player now. And quite honestly, I think he's more comfortable not having to be a media fixture like he was during that Lynn Sanity phase. I think he's much more understated and doesn't really enjoy the spotlight. And this is much more comfortable for him where he is now. Now here's Collison. Just five to shoot. On the high post, he drills it. Collison's got nine points. Lakers trail by nine. Lynn against Collison. Outside, Lynn. Thompson with the block. Now here's Gay. He's got five. There's the pass to Collison. Back to Gay. Thompson is green on Bryant. Gay can't get it to go. You know, and whether or not Jeremy Lin enjoys celebrity, the NBA was certainly taking advantage of his popularity in Asia last season. The Rockets played a couple of preseason games in Taiwan, and even as he joins the Lakers now, I still think that'll be something that the league and the Lakers will be able to take advantage of. Feeds away. Kobe's shot is off. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. Yeah, not giving up too many second chance opportunities, which is always important, and that's been one of the reasons they have the lead right now. And you know, despite all the attention and promotion, Lynn is still a young player with room to grow. He's probably not a star, but you know, from an undrafted player glued to the bench in his first two seasons, he has come a long way. It's really an admirable story. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Now here's Collison. Nine points in the game so far. And he gets it to go. And that's now seven points for Rudy Gay. Timeout called the Lakers. Darren Collison could be the fastest player in the NBA with the ball in his hands. Westbrook, Parker, obviously in the conversation as well. But Brooke Collison, the son of two track stars, he is just explosive. Carl Landry's checked in for Sacramento. Lakers trail by nine. Dan Collison loves to use his quickness at both ends, a blur in transition, Clark, and defensively, he'll hound you for the full 94 feet. Well, again, we've talked about this before, Kevin. You've got to play to your strengths. He's a little undersized, but as they say, speed kills him. He looks to make the most of his speed. Here's Collison following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Thompson sets the pick for Collison. Gay with it. He's picked up by Hill. Here's Thompson. Off the left rim and out. Lakers have gone two of four here to start the second half. And Wesley Johnson with the slam. Really hard to decide, guys, which was better. The pass, the catch, or the slam. Clark, there's no wrong answer to that one, my friend. <laughs> Sensational alley-oop all the way around. Agreed. All of the above. And it's the Kings with the ball. The drive by Collison. Four on the clock. Nobody near Williams. That falls. Great assist by Darren Collison. Collison's got four assists in the game. Now here's Lynn. Five points in the game. And here's Johnson outside. Kings leading now by seven. Collison with it. 
And it's Lynn picking him up. Gake kicks to Landry. Again, Sacramento. The Lakers have gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Here's Lynn. And Thompson sends it back. And they get it back. Boozer passes to Kobe. Shot clock at six. He dishes it to Lynn. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds now tonight. He's killing them with his poor shooting. The defense is more than willing to give him those shots now. Johnson, good. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Collison dishes to Gay. It's stolen by Bryant. Lynn against Collison. And there's the three second call, this one on the defense. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Kings. I thought maybe they'd cool off a bit at halftime, but they've just continued to shoot well. I like the work they've been doing in the low post, too. I mean, we've seen a lot of points coming on the inside all day. And so he hits the technical free throw. Nick Young's checked in for Los Angeles. Then for the Kings, Cousins comes in for Carl Land. And McLemore subbed in for Derek Williams. Boozer with it. Now defended by McLemore. <laughs> Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there. Collison kicks to Cousins. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. Well, now they're just going to town on him. Yeah, you'd think these defenders would have done a little more to well, put man, a stop to that stuff, cool. Kevin, but so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. Now here's Lynn. He's got five, and Boozer throws it down. This game's gonna take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a on. blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look and how you know, frustrated Steve is on that. Well, I just, head. you know what, oh, Kevin? Just, Come on, Kevin, I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. Collison. Kicks to Cousins. What? I want to know good. what they do. Collison doing. making the play. I really like to know. 18 points for DeMarcus Cousins. Lakers might have sunk to the bottom of the Western Conference last season, but they still put up a pretty good fight against a lot of Western Conference teams. Now here's Lynn. Shot clock at six. And the shot is good. And that's now six points for Carlos Puzo. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. You know, one thing this Lakers group last year always played with was pride. And that should be a given, but that's not always the case. Sure, it was a down year, but they weren't just going to pack it up and give up. And let their better rivals have the best of them. Changes for the Lakers. Ed Davis is checked in for Hill. Rando comes in for Carlos Boozer. Nash is subbed in for Jeremy Lin. And then for Sacramento, Carl Landry's checked in for Thompson. Stauskas comes in for Rudy Gay. And it's McCallum in for Darren Collison. No good from Cousins. 
And that was a silver lining for the Lakers. They did manage to save some face with tough performances. Yeah, but when it comes down to it, last year was a lost cause for them. Between the injuries and everything, I mean, you can 